I have here a solid sphere, a hollow sphere, a solid cylinder, and a hollow cylinder that I'm going to roll down a ramp. Do you think they will all roll at the same rate or at a different rate? And if so, in what order? Let's find out. Is this the result you expected? Let's talk about why this happens. Objects with mass moving in linear motion have inertia, which is summed up by Newton's first law of motion, which states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. The more mass an object has, the more inertia it has, requiring a greater force to change its motion. The equivalent for rotating objects is called the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia is dependent on the mass and the radius squared multiplied by a constant less than or equal to 1. But with a little algebra, you can show that the speed of an object rolling down a ramp does not depend on its mass radius or width, only its shape. So all we're concerned about is the constant. The hollow cylinder has a constant of 1, so it has the highest moment of inertia and hence is the slowest. Here the approximation that the wall of the cylinder has negligible thickness compared to the diameter is used. Thick walled hollow cylinders and spheres have a different moment of inertia. The same approximation is applied to the hollow sphere which has a constant equal to two thirds and comes in third. The solid cylinder has a constant of a half and is the runner up. And the winner is the solid sphere which has a constant equal to two fifths. You will notice that the two slowest objects with the highest moment of inertia are the hollow objects. In other words, all of their mass is distributed at a distance from the axis of rotation. To see why this configuration has the highest amount of inertia, try lifting an arm with a weight at one end with your hand as far from the weight as possible. The end with the mass is slower to move than if your hand is as close to the weight as possible. Mass distributed away from the center of rotation requires more energy to rotate. One of the real world applications for moment of inertia is a flywheel. Flywheels are designed to store energy as rotational energy. Rotational energy is a half multiplied by the moment of inertia multiplied by the angular velocity squared. So with the same mass, radius and angular velocity a ring-shaped flywheel would be able to store twice as much energy as a solid disc-shaped flywheel, but the ring-shaped flywheel would need to be levitating or have spokes connecting it to the hub, and those spokes would have their own moments of inertia. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.